Hey, hey, good morning, Tuesday. Hey guys, as you guys are jumping in. Hello. Hey guys, how is everyone doing this fine Tuesday? What's up, what's up? Um, just jumping in here. What's happening Tuesday? Good morning, good morning. We get ready to move. We got our 45 minute Legree Pilates inspired traditional class. So in 45 minutes, we're gonna hit the full body, working it out. Woo. Beautiful. All right guys, so I'm just gonna pop in here super quick and then we will get in to that equipment that we're gonna need and do that here. So, good morning, good morning. Love getting to hang out with you guys first thing in the morning, kicking it off strong. So, just going ahead, grab a water, grab a towel, get your space uh, with this 45 minute workout. So if this is your first time doing a workout of this style with me, uh, just think super slow sculpting type movements. We're gonna be toning through the body, get all the little shakes, um, so a little bit different if you've never done this type of style of workout before, just trust the body, understand we're going to make all the long little shapes and lines. You guys know my little geometry references I always like to do. You got 45 degree angles, 90 degree angles, and through that combination, we somehow get a good workout in. Uh, but for equipment here, I just have a mat rolled out. I need to lay out my top towel for my slider. Um, if whatever surface you are on, the biggest thing is you want something that can glide and move across the surface. Um, so I'm going to be using a light set of gliders here and laying a towel over, um, a, like kind of a soft, soft towel over my mat uh, so that I can use it as that glider with that soft side or with the hard side. However, if you want to use that soft side, you can easily use that onto some hardwood surface or tile. Fuzzy socks work well, washcloths work great. Uh, just something that moves across out there. For bands, we got two bands going on. I'm gonna go ahead and take a light band and then a heavy band. If you don't have a fabric brand, no worries. Just whenever you're working into like a band set, reach for something heavier and then get something like two ends of the spectrum. I want your light one and your heavy one. And then uh, last but not least, we're gonna be using that resistance tube, and then this can be substituted if you don't have a resistance tube. Think about the handles. When I grab the handles, you're gonna grab your hand weights. About seven, seven and a half pounds, eight pounds, something around there is what you're going for. This is 15 pounds of resistance, um, so think about splitting it in half with those, but that's what we're working with. So that's it for equipment. We should be good. We got just about 60 seconds before we take off with that workout here this morning. I'll give modifications throughout the workout. The biggest thing is listening in to what muscle group I'm talking about and where you should be feeling this. Um, those are gonna be the adjustments. So when I talk about where you should be feeling it, what that should be looking like for you, uh, then those are the times that you can make the little adjustments. Also, if you have an injury, if you need to modify, Listen again back to where you should be feeling it. Maybe modify with a different move. So if we're in a core exercise and you're coming, having to come off the hands, take it onto the back. Do something where you're still working the core, still spending that time with it. Just modify and make it yours. Um, with that said, let me go ahead and put the towel on to the mat and then we will go ahead and get studded. What side are we going with? Should we go bright? Towel. I think we're gonna go ahead and go that fun block of white. Taking it down. I swear I'm gonna buy like four more of these because it's fun. <laughs> Alright, slide it up. So as always, we're gonna start with that core. I'm gonna bring you guys down just a hair. 
And then if you want to hide the comments, all you're going to do is tap the very center of your screen. So you can just tap it like right there. And then it will drop the comments down to the very, very bottom. And then I'll be making sure that that worked out for it. I'm up and above in that other way too. There we go. Let's brighten this up. Okay, okay. It's that time to move. Music goes up a little bit. We get ready to move and work it out. Final step. All right, 45 minutes. No stalling. Let's get that puck going. We're gonna go ahead and start with that light band into the hands, laying onto the back. We're going into some body weight movements with that core, taking it down to start it on out. Ooh, let's square it out right here. And four. I'm gonna take it on back. So laying back onto that mat, heels go down. Place those hands up and into that band. So the wrist can come in. We're gonna slowly roll it on out. Reach those hands up overhead as the biceps come up. Squeeze up, lift, hold. Slowly taking it right back to Inhale on the way down. Exhale, climbing up to the top, reaching tall. So again, we're scooping, warming up the center abdominals. Roll down, roll down, one third right at a time. Place them down. Inhale, exhale, push it up. Good, now with that band, we're gonna be feeling the outside of the shoulders into those lats, hugging it back. Reach, hover, exhale, push up. Beautiful, now if that sit up is ever too much, climbing all the way up and down, here's your modification. Take it down just halfway, still get that reach to the top. You're gonna build that core control till you can plant it just before the shoulders touch your reach. Exhale, take it up. All right, locking it into a four count right here. It's down for four, for three, for two, for one. Same on the way up. As you use those four counts, the whole point is to be taking any momentum out of it. Woo. Breathe it out, do it again, take it up. Good, you guys, 15 seconds right here. We're gonna come into our first hold. First pulse. In eight. Woo. Bring it in halfway. In three. Two, hold it halfway, hold little press, press out. Just those presses, you're gonna feel the back of the shoulder, feel it engage with the upper body. Hold the core so that you're not sitting on that tailbone, but you're scooped underneath. You should feel those low abs, your low abs, hugging you nice and tight. Woo, we got just six. But we're gonna take it into a full upside down bear from here. Keeping the hands into that band, but the feet are gonna lift off the mat. Reach it out, huge hollow bowl, hands overhead, feet long, and then we're gonna ball up in three, in two, in one. All right, reach it out. Slowly take it in, squeeze, tuck that ball, reach it out. Inhale, lengthen, hold it, pause. Exhale, squeeze it in. Good. All right, that's where we're working to go. Modification, one leg at a time. It'll make it a little softer into the core than dragging both those in. But remember, the goal is moving the entire time at that slow tempo. Breathe. Woo! Take it out. Again, squeeze in. Push it out. You got just 20 seconds, hang on to it. Lift, take it right back out. Woo. Beautiful job, we get ready in just another eight. You're gonna hold it in that tightest little ball. Pull it up for me in three, two, hold. Little tuck, squeeze, rock, squeeze. It's all the low abs crunch, pull, Woo. Little tuck, squeeze. Get those hands pressing out against that band. We got just eight. Six. Woo, coming over hands and toes. Find that glider. We take it into a true bear in three, two, 
one. All right, hands going to the mat. You can use both discs or one. I'm gonna use one to bring my toes together. Hands down onto the mat. Push all the way up into a high push-up position. Slowly draw the knees underneath. Squeeze it, hold. So that glider is on something that moves across that surface. So the, for me, it's that soft towel and that plastic side of that glider. For you, it could be that soft side of the glider and that hardwood floor, that washcloth, that paper plate on carpet, whatever you got, we're moving in slow. Good. So those shoulders, those arms that we're working into the band are now rolled back out of the ears, pressing down through the thumb and index finger. Squeeze, scoop. Inhale, push it out. Woo! Did you add some tempo and do you need to take it away? Find that four count in four. Three, two, hold. Push it out, four, three, two, pause. You got 30 seconds. Push it in, push it in. Beautiful. All right, if you're going for more right here, that push-up comes in at the end. Press it out in the way. Scoop and draw those knees, scoop underneath. It's 25 seconds. Woo! Push in through, reach it out. Good, we're gonna aim to get in just two more at that four count. Pressing it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Woo. Hands gonna come in to those gliders. We're going into a wheelbarrow. Knees are gonna come to the mat. Hands go onto that gliders, those moving surface. In five. In four, give one more, one more. For three, two, and one. All right, so taking those hands over onto the gliders. Both hands come underneath, start into a kneeling push-up position. Lock down, squeeze down into the top feet, top of the shins. Start by reaching out one arm at a time. Drag it back and in, squeeze, hold. Once you're there and you already feel like you have a great control with the single arm reach, go ahead and shorten the range of motion just a little bit, but taking both hands out, Pull back, squeeze underneath. Nice, now from the side right here, what we're not doing is we're not bending in at the hips. You're never gonna make this angle with the hips. The hips are gonna stay down and flat the entire time. As you reach, so the core holds, and then the movement comes from hinging underneath the shoulders, slowly dragging it back and in. Woo. Hug the back of the ribs, hug those lats. Keep the neck long. Try not to let the tension build up into the top of the shoulders, but keeping that posture, even though we're bent over into that 45 degree angle. Woo. Good, eliminating that space from the front of the ankle and the top of the foot. 15 seconds. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Woo. Send it hold. Exhale, pull it in. Reaching out. We hold this one in four. Hold it out in three, two, hold it right there. Reach right. Reach left. Reach left. Reach right. You should be at your furthest point right here. If you are taking it one arm at a time, I want you to add some tempo. Switch it. Try to switch right and left together at the same time. Woo. Right here, little presses for both those hands. Last 10 seconds. Take it up to a full pipe or full plank for me in three, two, one. All right, hands come up, toes come back. Send those gliders out of the way. We just need the body weight for our final 60 seconds of that core. Woo, breathe it out. Shoulders out of the ears, core in tight. Center in. You've been moving that body, that heart rate should feel up. Feel the difference. Of that mindful breath right here. Big inhale and fill the lungs. Huge exhale, hug the abs in even tighter. Take the top of the hips, curl them, scoop them towards the bottom of the rib cage. Press the heels all the way out and away. Lengthen, hold. Woo! So good. We got just eight. Breathe into it. We're gonna go ahead, lift, alternating right and left legs. Right leg up, hold it, five. Hold it four, hold it three, two, switch, hold the left. Woo! We get ready, 
switch it to the right arm ready, reach it. Good, so we're gonna do all four corners. Before we finish out that plank, left hand, reach it up, go, reach. Last 10 seconds, just hold that center plank right here. Hold, breathe, breathe. We're gonna take it into that right leg with a single leg squat. Woo! Find that band for me. Three, two, one. All right, single leg squat, taking it back. Right foot to the mat, left foot to that glider. Take a light set of that band in for your hands right here. Right foot goes down, left foot goes to move. We're not gonna use that band for our first 60 seconds. So that first set of full range, I just want you to start to anchor into that right leg. Point the knee over the second, third toe. Woo. Pull up, lift, stop before the top. Take it right back down. Good, there we go. So I have my band in my hands. If you don't have a light band, you can use a set of hand weights to mimic some of these movements. We're gonna be taking it back into the tricep on that right side. So without the band, the motion's gonna be left hand across the body, right hand into the band, you're gonna push all the way out and squeeze against that band, come in. I'll show you guys from both angles, but you've got 20 seconds right here, hold it down low. Slowly climbing it up, do not block out that leg at the top. What makes the tension what makes that constant little shake come in is never giving that full lockout at the top. Leaving that soft baby bed. Last 10. Get ready with that band. Left hand comes across the shoulder. So place those hands into that band. In four. In three. Two. Hold it up. Left hand to the left, sh right shoulder. Kick it back. Drop it forward. Hinge that arm out. Slowly hinge at the elbow. Taking that hand in, good. Stay with the legs, I'm gonna show you the arms. So right here, as you're taking it down, down. Kick back that right hand. You should be leaning over that right heel. Slowly coming in, keep the right elbow up, up, up. Take it back out. Reach it out, low, extend. Slowly pulling it up. Squeeze and keep the low, out in. Let's go 30 seconds here, drop low. Squeeze it up. Hit it. Tuesday. We get to work. Squeeze it up. Pull through. Pull through. Yes, you can. 10 seconds left. We're going to hold it at the bottom. Leg goes still. Arm continues to work. In just three, two, hold it at the bottom. Just the arm. Hinge it in. Two, pull. Press it out for two. Pause. Again, in for two, hold, drop a little lower, press it out for two, pause. Those are your little presses, hang on to it. Woo, breathe it out, breathe it out. Good, those hands are gonna come in. Final 30 seconds, just full range, no upper body, just that single leg squat. Get light onto that left big toe. In three, two, stack it, hands come over, up and away from those hips. Wherever those hands are, they are off the hips, they are lifted. You want more? Reach into those bands, hold. Slowly climb up, just let the hands and shoulders come in line. Keep that bend into that right leg. You got this. Woo. Breathe it low, pull pause. Good, this band that's into our hands is gonna be coming onto both the feet as we take it down low, low into a tabletop position. We're gonna stay with that outer glute, outer thigh, but moving it into a mega donkey kick. <sighs> Left knee, right foot. Last 10 seconds here for 10, nine, eight. Go slower for four, three, two. Dish the glider for a second right here. All right, so anchor it onto the left knee, pulling that band all the way over the left knee. Place the center of the right foot into the other end of the band. Come into a flat tabletop position. This is key, this is first. The tabletop is first. Once you're there, then lift. Give it that fire hydrant type lift. Extend the leg, slowly come into that 90 degree. So again, we're pushing out. Drive it, hold. Slowly draw that knee in. Good. 
if you feel for some reason you are completely falling over into that left side, you can take this from the forearms. Woo. When you take it from the forearms, it anchors down the shoulders a little bit better. However, it takes away some of the core work. When you're up onto the hands, your abs have to hold up into the tabletop even stronger to make sure you're not falling over one side or the other. So do what feels right for you. As long as you're feeling this into that outer glute, outer thigh. If you were to put your a touch right where the outside of the glute connects right to the outside of that outer thigh, that's where I want you to just be hugging in tight. Press it up. Go back to that four count. Turn the toe and the shin out. Hold it in 90 degrees, hold. Press it out, extend, extend. Flex that heel, don't block it out. Woo. Beautiful. Press it in, now that left hand, remember that's that light hand, we aren't falling over to the left. You wanna level up a little bit more. I'm gonna give you that option right here. Take the left hand behind the, the ear. So I'm gonna take my left hand right here, even while I'm holding into that mega donkey kick to keep that chest open and flat. Woo! Press it out, extend. Slowly drawing it in. In, hold that 90. Woo! 30 seconds right here, get good and shaky. This is the second movement. Into that same side of that outer glute, outer thigh. So we are tapping it out strong through that motion. Breathe it in. Woo! Push it out. 10 seconds left. Little pulses, two inches of movement. In four, three, two, push it out, an inch hold. Push it out, two, pause. Take it in, an inch hold. Take it in, two, pause. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Out one. Out two. Again, again, in one. In two. One more time, out and in. Two counts out. Two counts in. Woo, you're gonna go last 20 seconds of full range. Option to tuck that toe, hover that bottom knee. Fly it out in three, two, one. 20 seconds on that full range. Let it shake, let it squeeze. Hold it in, press it out. Woo. Breathe in, breathe in. Beautiful, we're going into lying in our thighs on that right side in just another eight. Take that band around both feet. In four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay. So taking it onto the outside of both the feet. Lock down that left foot. Stamp it into the floor. It's not going to move. Right foot kicks in. Kick the instep out and away. Inside of that inner thigh lifts. Slowly stop at that half foot. Take it up. Feel that left hand push into the mat. So we're finding that length all the way from the very top of that inner thigh through that extension of that heel. Press it out, reach it out in the way. Two through. Good. The inside of that right knee is super close to your left half. It's almost like you're shaving that inside of that leg right there. Think about when you do deadlifts and you try to draw that bar really close to the front gym or those dumbbells. It's that same thing, that same effect. You want to be super close to it there. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the inner thighs, lift. Resist on the way down. Woo! Turning the toes out and down towards the floor. God, you got 30 seconds right here. Are you breathing? Are you allowing yourself to go to those shakes or are you backing away? Woo. Oh, that's part of being mindful in your time in here. As you start to get towards those challenges, the first thing, like our body wants to just go, no, no, back away, back away. We're gonna switch that, at least for 45 minutes of your day, where you lean into it, knowing that that best, that little extra, that out of comfort zone, is where the magic happens. Hang into it here. Squeeze it out in four. Woo. Holding it up for in three, two, hold it. Little circle, circle it out. Whatever direction, does not matter. We're gonna switch it in 10. Push it up and breathe. Woo. Switch directions, three, two, 
two. And one, that shake is there. Let it quiver, breathe through it. Six seconds, six seconds, up. If it helps to know that I've been doing this a long time and those shakes still come in, every time you wanna go for it. In three, hold it up in two. One little pulse is just up. Little pulse is just straight up. Last 10 seconds, go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. We find squats, outer thigh squats with that heavy band in three, two, one. All right, taking it on. That heavy band's coming on to the outer glute, outer thighs. So stepping it up, slide those feet. It's gonna come right to the outside of your outer quads. Just above the knee. Drop down low, ho. Slowly climbing it up just halfway. Take it right back down again. That upper lip sweat is in full effect. <laughs> Pull those abs in. Take it right back down. Lowering through now in that squat. You are rolling so heavy onto those heels right there. You should be able to pull those toes up. And then once you do, I want you to feather them down just lightly, but keep the weight into the back of the heels. Pull up with the abs. Squeeze. Good. Be careful that you're not letting yourself come too parallel, that you can't feel this band get tight. Walk out enough so that that band is tight and we feel the back sides of those glutes, those back little pockets. Woo. Push it down. Slowly climbing it up. So this is gonna be the last bit of work into the outer glutes, outer thighs. Our final two exercises for that right leg. It's gonna be focusing into the back of the glute back of the hamstring. Starting with a running lunge. So that runner's lunge, we're gonna bring it onto the front of the right shin, back of the left hamstring. So you'll follow along, you got this here. If you know where you're going with that runner's lunge, I want it quick, I want a five second transition. 10 seconds left, just with these squats. Find a glider, get ready to move. Three, two, down we go. Right foot forward, left foot back. So it's onto the back, hamstring, front shin. Hold that 90, push it out and away. Slowly bending it right back in. Squeeze and hold, pressing it out, reach. Woo! Drawing it in, hold that 90, press it out and breathe. Good, so again, the same thing where you fell into the heel of that squat you just came out of, Get into that same position where you're not rolling into the toe. You're keeping it heavy in the heel. You're keeping that knee directly over that ankle. Squeeze into that, hold those abs in. Press it out and away. Woo! Yes. Good and shaky Tuesday. Press it out, breathe. You're almost there, you're almost there. We got 30 seconds of that full movement. Woo! Breathe it out. Push it out, reach, 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 yes. There it is. Squeeze it down. Woo! Push it out, breathe it out, breathe it out, reach long. Less than eight. Hold it into those 90s. That left shin is gonna come parallel to the floor. In four, three, two, hold. Stack it up, get tall, down one. Press it up, down one. Press it up, 20 seconds, go down. Go down. Oh, everything in those lower bodies. Let it fight, let it squeeze. Woo! We're gonna take it into that right oblique from here. Taking off the band, going right into that single-sided dancing bear. Hands are gonna go to the mat, toes are gonna go to that glider. Band comes off in four, in three, two, and one. Woo! Right leg's done. So good, so good. Take it back, hands come down. Now, level one, just the right knee. Tap it over to that left elbow. Take it back, extend. Reach, hold. Woo. Level two, both knees stacked together. Squeeze the inner thighs. Take it into that full twisted hair. So as you draw those knees in, twist it over, twist it. Reach long. Nice, pay attention to your hips. Make sure they're not lifting super tall. The goal is to keep them in line with the shoulders. Draw the knees over. Lengthen it back out. Woo! 
Tuesday, five for the same exact effort you put into that right leg, coming into that right oblique. Press it out, breathe. Breathe, so good. Woo, fire it out. Nice, you guys, taking it over onto that back. 25 seconds left to move, twist it through. Try to get in three more. Just because there's a number to it doesn't mean we speed up that four count. If anything, it should mean to slow it down even more. Woo! Pressing out, last one, last one. In four, in three, in two, lay it onto the back. We're getting ready, you're going single side, toe taps. Reach, extend, slowly take it out. Halfway, right hand behind the ear, cross over. So as you're reaching, left hand is reaching out to the right. Right toe is kicking over that left shoulder. Create that twist through the waistline, anchoring down, still underneath those low parts of the abs. Take it out, Woo. pull it in. Good, modification, plant the left leg. Still keep the motion going. It's gonna lighten it up a little bit though. Squeeze it up, use that right oblique. Level two, push that leg out. Hover and hold. Woo, find that full range. Reaching out. Keep that chest open. Even as you twist, you're still lifting with that twist, but you're keeping your folding companion in on the chest. Everything stays open and tall. Woo. 20 seconds. There it is, let's go. Finding it over, final oblique exercise. We're gonna go right into a scrambled eggs. So that band, you can do this with body weight or you can use a resistance too. Other option with a hand weight is you're gonna place the hand weight behind the right knee. But we come into a tabletop in five, in four, one more, hold it up in three, two little pulses. Little pulses, you got eight, seven, six, five, tabletop, three, two, one. All right, so I'm gonna bring my right foot into that handle and then grip up nice and tall into that resistance too. Placing it down underneath those hands, then kicking back from that tabletop, kick straight back. Slowly let that right oblique fold it. Take it out, reach the toe nice and long, extend, hold. So again, you start from that tabletop, hug up tight onto that band, press it down, kick straight back, now fold into the right side. Hold, pause, sweep it back. Reach through, squeeze the inner thighs in, take it right back out. Squeeze back. Woo! There it is. There it is. Tuesday. Final 25 seconds with that right oblique. If you want to take that added challenge, again, take that left hand behind the ear. Take it back, squeeze long. Woo! Reach, hold, do it again. One more, one more. We all hold together your furthest extension in three, two, hold it. Reach out left hand, reach out right toe, hold it and squeeze. Squeeze for five, Woo! for four. We go kneeling shoulder, press in three, two, one. Hand weights, grab your hand weights. Resistance shoots, take it underneath the knees. Take the arms out nice and wide, press up. Elbows out wide. Woo. We got a short arm block today. Spent a lot of time into those abs and those obliques. So open up wide, press strong with the hands, push it up. Reach off, inhale. Open wide for that movement, do it again. So the challenge with the upper body, it still has the concept we aren't locking anything out. You're moving 80% range of motion. You're hovering at those 90s. Don't drop them down. Push it out. You should be able to see the hands out of your peripheral vision at the top. So it's a slight push forward there. So as you reach, reach, Woo. take it out. Open, 
squeeze. Good, three more right there. Slow tempo, breathe. Triceps are gonna be coming up overhead. In four, one more, one more. Hold it up, squeeze it up in three, two, back and down. Press it up and squeeze. So for those triceps, that band is going straight up, up, up. Staple up the back of the hands. Slowly drop it, just to 90, hold. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core beneath you. Woo. Taking it down, hold it, pause. Exhale, push it up, reach it. 30 seconds, go. Slow, slow, press it back up. Woo. That core gets to kick in. We got this here in just another eight. Take those arms wide. Hug a tree in three, two, take it out, fly it in. Good, now if you have hand weights, go ahead and take this off the back into a bridge pose so that you're lifting up over that chest. So you're gonna lay on the back, tuck the heels, bring them underneath the knees, and then close up and let the fists come to the ceiling. If you got those resistance tubes, you're gonna hold with me right here. Woo. Squeeze it in, squeeze it, hold. Take it right back out. Breathe, use that exhale. Compress everything in. Nice work. That blue band or that light band, whatever that band was you used for that first single leg squat, find it. You need a glider and a band for our next movement. Quick transitions on the second side through. The second side through. I shave off a little bit of time for quickish transitions. That means you gotta get to the moves quicker. I give you about 10 seconds to transition in round one, but round two, there's about five second transitions. Give it a quick, in four, woo, in three, two, one. All right, step it on up. Left foot to the mount, right foot to the glider. In four, three, two, drop it down. Squeeze and hold, slowly climbing it up. Breathe and reach. Again, sit it down, go low. Take that band, bring those hands into prayer and slow it right back down. So that single leg squat, everything on that left side is facing forward. That hip, knee, toe, shoulder, everything's in a line. Press it down slowly as you climb it up. Keep high on that back, tippy toe. Woo, sit it back. Light onto that toe, extend it, exhale, drive through. Squeeze the abs up. Breathe it in. We got 20 seconds. Just with the legs, we're gonna start to add in the upper body. One more, all the way down, all the way up. Find the band, right hand comes across the shoulder. Left hand comes in, you're going into those tricep kickbacks. As the toe goes long, so does that left hand. Reach it out, hinge forward, extend, extend. Whole pause, hinge at the elbow as you come up into that. Again, so again, as you're coming down, sink low, reach into that squat, hold, hover, be careful, don't let that knee come super forward. I want you to sit back into the outside of that heel. Slowly climbing up. Come up, squeeze in, light on that back toe. Now if you can see that right toe, the one that's reaching out onto that mat, it's directly in line with the hips. So as the hips come back and away, it goes straight out. That's gonna keep those hips parallel to the front of the room. Pull up, drive through. Woo, be mindful of that elbow, that left elbow. Squeeze it up. Get the palm to face the floor at the bottom and then stop as soon as the fingertips are in line with the floor. 20 seconds right here, getting low. Woo, hang on to it. You're gonna get low and you're just gonna move that arm. We got a set of five on those tricep kickbacks. In four, three, two, hold it out. Slowly take it in for four. Take it in for three, two, pause, do it again. Do it again, reach it out. Hold yourself low and over that left leg. Do it again, cross it out. Woo! Two more right here. That hand's gonna be done, that arm's gonna be done. I know that left tricep is kicking in. Go for it, go for it, reach. Last one, hands to a prayer or overhead in three, two, one. Drop it down. Last 30 seconds, 
Stop before the leg locks out. Taking it back, sit out and away. If you did so on the other side, add that reach. Slowly coming up, just those hands stop the shoulder height. Then you sit back from there. Reaching it down. Woo Hold it. Squeeze it up. Breathe it. Again, take it down. Two more, two more. We're gonna bring it down to the mat for that mega donkey kick. Last one, go. Slow. Eight, count to the top right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, five second transition. Right knee comes in, left foot to that band. Tabletop, we go in three, two, one. Push it up, press it out and away. Clean up my there with I go. Woo, hold it up. Now, as you push out from there, again, anchor the right knee, center that left foot. Hold the tabletop, press out with that heel, reach, slowly draw that knee in, stop it at 90. If you did so on the other side, maybe you took that forearm option, still anchoring down, not falling into that right side, keeping that left side strong. If you stayed up on the hands, Maybe this time that right hand's coming behind the ear. Pull it in. Woo! Slow it down, Tuesday. Right here, breathe it out. All right, side two. Huh. We know what's coming up. You know those little shakes you get to go for, reach for. Make sure you don't back away. In fact, Maybe you held back a little bit on that right side because you didn't know what was coming next and you didn't give yourself your best. We sometimes do that. We hold back because we're like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the next move if I go 100%. Get that out of your head and just give 100%. That's the best thing that can happen to you this morning in this workout is tapping out and being like, I need that break. That means you gave yourself that full, full attention and energy. Woo! Holding it halfway. Two counts in, two counts out. Let's go, take it in an inch hold. In two, pause, flex that heel, push it out, one hold. Out two, pause, squeeze it up. Woo. Hands are strong, that left hand stronger than the right. Squeezing in, do you feel the outer glute, outer thigh, right to the outside of the booty? Squeeze it, flex it like you're making a fist. Woo, push it out, breathe again, again. Last eight seconds with these two inch pushes. Going into that 20 seconds on that full range. If you did so on the other side, we're gonna tap that bottom knee. Hell, even if you didn't on the other side, let's go for it in three, two, tuck, hold, push it out. So temporary. We might get in three with those flies. Hold it and push it out. Woo. Last 10 seconds. Hang on to it, that heavy band's coming around. We go into that set of outer thigh squats. In five, in four, three, oh sorry, inner thighs, let's go. Keep you even, lying inner thighs. Even better, right? Woo, give those booties a break just for a second. Lying inner thighs, right foot down, left foot pushing it out and through. Woo, set it out, lift and through. So again, it's that right foot that's now holding down that band. Left heel is kicking through. On the instep of that left foot is that band. And we are pressing that right hand down enough that you can keep the chest forward. Keep that inner thigh to the ceiling and kicking up with the instep of that heel. Hold it down, hover. Woo! Good. Whenever I go to the lying inner thighs after that mega donkey kick, it almost feels like you're foam rolling out the outside of that booty. Woo! Take it right back out. If you did so on the other side, maybe lying it all the way down. That's fine, that's an option there. I'm gonna hold it up on the forearm today. Ah, oh, breathe. Breathe. Woo, make sure you're not letting that slack come into that band. Pick a spot on that right shin right here. The one that's pointed down to the floor, I want you to pick a stop stopping point for that left leg. AKA, you will not let that left knee drop below that. Even if it means you're just holding the entire time, 
and you can't lift it up any higher, that's fine, but you do not go below that point. Squeeze it up. Woo. Take it down. Again, press it up. Woo. Squeeze it out. There we go. 15 seconds on that lift. Those circles are gonna come at the top. Let the shakes come in. Wobble, wobble, eight. Here we go, hold it up in four, three, two little circles, go circle. Woo, go circle. Squeeze it out. You switch directions in five, three, two, take it out, go switch. Woo, that shake though, that shake though, let it happen. Press that heel, pull those toes back towards you. Your toes are reaching all the way back for that shin. That heel is going for the ceiling. Little pulses to finish it out in three. Hit three, two, one. I can't even put up the right numbers right here. Let's go, little squeezes, go. Woo, woo. Let it shake, last six. Find that heavy band now. We're going outer thigh squats, correct transition in four, three, and two, one. Woo, inner thigh on. Here we go. Squat it down. Three, two, get low, get low, get low. Cross it through. Final five minutes are on. Final five minutes of work. Stay with it, get low. Push into those heels, point those knees over the second, third toe, slowly climbing it up. Really, really focus this time into that outer glute, outer thigh and feel the back edge of your heels get heavy. As you squeeze the glutes from the bottom, the next thing you should feel is that drive through the back of the heels, and that's gonna keep the tension through the back of the booty the whole time. Chest up, whole time. Whoo. Set it up. Is that band tight enough? Is that booty reaching back far enough? Are you sitting all the way into that spot where you aren't sure if you're gonna fall back? And then driving back, pushing the booty back, push it back, push the booty back, push the booty back. Woo! 30 seconds here. Strong and working it out. Knowing we got four minutes to move and groove, you're gonna hold it down, little butterfly pulses, take it down. Down, go, press for your last 10. Push, breathe for five, four. Runner's lunge, find that glider. Left foot forward, right toe back in three, two, one. Left foot forward, right toe back. We're down in three, two. Push it out and away. Push it out. Squeeze, hold, take it in. Right knee comes just underneath that hip. Push it out and away. Final leg exercise of the morning. Get low, push it back. Pull, pause. Slowly draw that right knee underneath. So one of the big things is I'm not gonna let my knees cross over. It's even off the hips. And then same thing, don't let that right hip drop. Keep it up and even. Anchor it down. Hold into that 90, then pushing straight down. When you push down, it gives the power to push the leg away. Slowly taking it underneath. Hold, pause, reach. Woo. Uh, <laughs> I know. 15 seconds left. Move it out. Everything right now should be a challenge. Everything should be going holy moly Tuesday. Woo. Hold it halfway in four. Hold it halfway three, two. Hold it down, hold. Cross, drop. Cross your hair. Those obliques, we finish that left side. Hands go down, left toe to the glider or both. Twisted dancing bear for me in four, three, two, one. Woo. Kick it on off. Feet come down, hands down to the mat. In three, two, level one. Left knee, right elbow. Taking it out. These are your final three minutes. We get 60 seconds of work in each movement and you are done. Take those toes together. 
for that level two. Squeeze the knees all the way over to that right elbow. Press it out. Woo, reach. Do it again, squeeze. Tuck, hold. Take it back out. Reach. Three more. Three more. Squeeze it in. Twisting through all the way. Draw it out, reach it long. Do it again, pull it in. Woo. That's it, that's it. Last 10 seconds, final one. Flip it over onto that back. Woo. We're going cross body, toe taps in three, two, one. All right. Taking it down, either that right foot plants or reaches long. Either by left hand behind the ear. Cross the body, taking it out. Crossing over, pulling everything down, squeezing through that left oblique. So you gotta kick that right toe out, over the shoulder, reach off position. Level two, reach that right, long butt, right leg long at the bottom, bring the left one back to meet it, twist over. Woo. So it's that full stretch, stretch, lengthen out the oblique, and then fold into it. Taking it back. Woo! We're here. 30 seconds. Squeeze it out. Those last 15 are gonna feel so long. But just remember that's because you've put in the effort up to this point that everything right now should be taking that little extra where you gotta reach deep. Hold it up, little pulses. Four, three, let's go. Pulse. Woo, push. Ready for that resistance to an eight. Woo, we're going scrambled eggs. In three, in two, and one. All right, find that resistance to one last time. Otherwise, you take that hand weight behind the knee. Hold that tabletop in four. Kick it back in three, two. Again, come to the tabletop first. Then kick out the toe. That's the little key, the little secret. Push it out. Woo. Fold into that left side. Pull back. Draw that pinky toe, big toe, everything extended long. Fold it in, slow it down. Slowing it down your last 45 seconds. We're going to go into a child's pose right from here. But the work you put in in your last 30 seconds can make all the difference of how you feel when you rest into it, knowing that you showed up the full commitment. Start to finish up that workout. Woo. 20 seconds. On the clock, that left oblique continues to squeeze and fold. Find that space between the hip and rib. Find it, find it, find it, find it, touch it. Take it back, squeeze it, lengthen. Last one all the way over, all the way back. We're gonna hold in just another five. In just another four, three, two, reach. Reach right here, because all you have is a child's pose in four, three, two, one. Woo! Melt it down. Oh. Hold it low, take a breath in. Exhale. Let it go. Beautiful job, you guys, taking those little cat cows. Round through that body. Scoop it right back. Open up with the chest. Oh, we got a little extra core in the beginning there today and kept you guys even. So, whew, I hope you guys feel great and sweaty because it got nice and sweaty and nice and hot. Um, thank you guys so, so much for letting me be part of that self-care. Make sure you guys take some time to stretch out that body. Move, take a walk, get outside. Oh, let's finish with that last little gratitude. And then I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow morning. We always run different moves, um, especially when we're going back to back onto those. Just getting to change it up, challenge the body a little bit different, but still hitting that full body. So thank you, thank you, thank you each and every one of you guys, you guys are incredible. Let's end with that gratitude together. Taking in that gratitude, we're gonna do it with our breath.
So you're gonna take in an inhale for four, you're gonna hold it at the top for four, and then you're gonna exhale it out for four. We're gonna do three of them. With each one, you're gonna bring in a little bit different piece of gratitude. All right, so first inhale in, breathe it in, in for four, three, two, and as you hold, visualize that gratitude, something you get to do today. Bringing in that gratefulness for it and exhale it out for four. Empty out for three. Push out through the mouth that air. Two. Hold. Take that second inhale in through the nose. For three. For two. Hold it at the top. Bringing in that gratitude, someone you're a little extra grateful for. Visualize them. See their face, see their name. Exhale. Empty it out. Empty it out. All the way, all the way. Breathe it out. Last one, we're gonna go for a count of six. Breathe it in for six, for four, three. Sips of air all the way up to the top. Hold it, hold it. Finding that gratitude for yourself, that grateful for whatever it is. Name something into that self that you're grateful for. Exhale, all the way out for six, all the way out for four, three, two. Settle in as that breath returns to that normal breath. Thank you guys so much so much for clearing that space and time remember stretch out the bodies love getting to move with you guys thank you guys for showing up and i will see you guys tomorrow 7 30 a.m and then friday we got that 8 30 30 minute and then saturday 9 30 so we got three more three more this week commit to it put them in let's move together it's one of my favorite parts of my day thank you guys for being here